Futures and options on futures trading involve substantial risk and is not a suitable investment for all types of investors. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. When I use the word I in this video, it refers to what I teach in my charting course or what I author in my twice daily oral and written updates. Prices shown on charts and quote boards are in real time and take into account all known activity up to this point in time. And if you'd like to read more of this disclaimer, I read Epstein and Associates with your Tuesday player. morning. Good morning. Ira Epstein of Linden Associates with your Tuesday morning update. And this is for, good morning. Ira Epstein of Linden Associates with your Tuesday morning flash video for September 26, 2017. All right, friends. It's the day after the North Korean threats, the market getting another reversal of types. Stocks were all down yesterday. Gold was up yesterday. The dollar is continuing on its move to the upside, but the yen, another safe haven down, along with the bonds in the notes. That's the first thing. The second thing you look at is you did get up over $52 in the crude, and you got up near $60, actually about 59 and a half in the Brent. Is that high enough? That's going to be the question. I was just on Bloomberg talking about that. I'm of the opinion, yes, I think that it's going to attract an awful lot of new business, if you will. We're going to be seeing the shale producers come on board very, very quickly here because they can lock in a nice profit. That doesn't mean you can't still go higher. What's happened is OPEC has won the day. They needed near $60 a barrel for their IPO. This doesn't mean that their IPO, which is still a long way off, isn't going to be in that range. Could be higher, could be a bit lower. But their resolve has driven the price up by keeping oil off the market. And even with all the bear talk about Libya and Nigeria producing a lot more, the market's able to absorb that. Growth in America, growth in Europe, and still solid demand out of China. Those are the issues there. When we take a look at today's news, the conference board expectations 101.7 versus uh, the prior month revised to, uh, from 103. Okay, I can live with that. September manufacturing in Richmond. Look at these numbers. As a group, they're quite positive, looking good there. New U.S. home sales and inventory, down 3.4%. I don't know about your area, but I'm noticing in the Chicago market, it's been in the news here, now homes, it, it, people aren't chasing them as much as they were. So instead of the, they hit the market and there's a bidding war, that's come to an end pretty much. New inventory, 6.1 months, average sale, median price now, it's up to $30,200. Kay Schiller still shows 20 metro home prices for July up 7 tenths from a year ago month. And area home prices for July were up 7 tenths from the previous month. So you see that climb in prices up to 300000 And that's sort of what the market is looking at. Now, the thing I'd be looking at today and focusing on, can the dollar break out and keep a breakout to the upside while the euro breaks out to the downside? If so, what's happening is you're going to push Bollinger Bands on the dollar further higher and you're going to take them down in the euro. That would be one of my main focuses. And looking at the grain market, not an awful lot going on there today. I warned you on sugar, one of the things that we had heard was good rains coming into South America. That is what's hitting this market right now, continued good there. And the rally in cotton, well was it a one day flash? That might have been all that you see. Want to remind you of our offerings here, more research center. If you're a seasonal type trader, and I look at seasonal patterns all the time, then you start getting ready for the fall months. And they write all these reports, plus you get to play with their interactive charts. Now, the beauty of this is they're offering a two-week trial. You get that by giving us a call at 866-973-2077. You can go to our website, www.irabstein.com. You can also, if you want, at any point, click here if you're watching me on YouTube, and we'll get you set up with that. Or underneath us on many websites, it says, click here for Ira's free offerings. And what they do is you're going to get monthly looks at the market. You're going to get every month where the buy and sell orders on a seasonal basis would come in, the probabilities as to how it succeeded over the last 15 years. And you've got to keep this in the back of your mind. The reason trades are added and subtracted, nothing wins all the time. It can't be. I mean, it would be phenomenal if it did, but it's just not the way that it works. What I like is their interactive charts, because what I'm able to do with the interactive charts is look into current patterns, see if the technicals match up with the seasonals, and it gives me another tool to play with. I'm Ira Epstein. You have a great day, and I'll see you this afternoon in the other.